Who is more intelligent, dog owners? Yeah. Or cat owners? Yeah. I'll be barracking for the cats. Lavinia, Lavinia will be barracking for the dogs. But, Russ, obviously dogs are more intelligent. I mean, they've got jobs. You've got drug-sniffing dogs, bomb-sniffing dogs. You've even got guard dogs. Yes, you do, but they actually experimented with guide cats and they actually got the uh, owners home quicker, but the owners didn't like travelling along tops of fences and over house <laughs> roofs to get home. <laughs> We've got some beautiful dogs here and some obsessed owners. You don't mind me saying that, do you, David? Not at all. <laughs> this is your golden retriever, Josh. Correct. Now, show us the artwork that you've employed in your love for Josh. Yes. Bit of a tattoo now, there. He's got a tattoo. Now, how much did that tattoo cost you? That uh, was $200, Russ. Right? $200. See, I've got a tattoo of my tat. Five bucks. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've also got some really talented dogs. Now, Judith is an opera singer, and you've taught oh, Pikelet how to sing. Well, I didn't teach him. He taught himself, actually. All right. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Well, we've got some uh, strange cat owners, and for our, our dumb scientist, uh, dumb scientist in the studio, if you can't tell the time, he might want to get himself one of these. That's called a watchdog. <laughs> so that might help him out. Now, listen, I've got Chris here. Now, Chris spends a lot of money on his cats. Now, Chris, how much did that cat cost you? Cat cost you? This cost me five thousand dollars. This one from England. From England. Yes. Yeah. And uh, and you've spent something like forty-five thousand dollars on your cats. Is that correct? Yes, my last cat. Uh, I bought from Hawaii. I sent a female over to get mated and ended up buying a cat and brought it over here for $8,000. Oh, really? Geez, he's sending these cats on holidays now. Hawaii, yeah. eh? Okay, and also we've got Carolyn over here. Now, here's the contrast. $5,000 cat, $50 cat. Now, when did you get your cat? Oh, he's about three years old now. Yeah, and he's got hair all over him. Do you wash your cat? I do wash my cat, actually. Yeah, I wash my cat today. I didn't wash all of him. There's certain places I won't lick, you know. But, um... <laughs> we don't know where he's been either, do Yeah, you? I won't do his feet. And uh, how do you think you'll go in the IQ test tonight? Pretty good, actually. Yeah? I think the cat lovers... I think the cat lovers will get a perfect score. Oh, yeah! Really? That sounds like a challenge. You want to have a little bit of a wager on this one, pal? Oh, I'm happy to have a wager, pal. <laughs> All right. Well, whoever's group loses has to kiss Patty. Okay. <laughs> Who wouldn't love a dog like that? <laughs> I've kissed worse, so I'm up for that. <laughs> All right, back to you, Eddie and Katrina. Thanks very much. Hey, dogs, cats, cats, dogs, cat owners will win. Come on, dogs, come on. Go the cat owners. Well done to Lavinia Nixon and Russell Gilbert. And don't forget, Bark Off, the grand final on nine this Saturday at seven o'clock with $25,000 up for grabs with uh, Russell and Lavinia. All right, then, uh, just to see how they went. Let's go across there back now. How are you going, team? <laughs> Very difficult. How did you go? Oh, I found it mental. <laughs> I don't know about the mentally exhausting. Um, Lavinia well, should do good because Lavinia, you, you, you went to Form 6. And university. And university. I never missed school. I mean, my dad drove me in. At, well, he had to. He was in the same grade as me. But, uh, <laughs> well, we're trying to find out who's more intelligent, dog owners or cat owners. So we did give it to the animals. This is what the cats made of the IQ test. Yeah, they, at least they tried. They walked on theirs. Look at the dog. They just weed on theirs. <laughs> Find out how the owners went. Peter and your beautiful dog Connor. How'd you find the test? Oh, it was all right. I think I think Connor could probably did better than I would have, but we'll hope for the best. I actually seen Peter. Now, during the spatial questions, you wrote down an answer I don't know, and your friend here was copying your work, and he wrote down either do I. <laughs> That's the dumb dog owners. Thank you, Tonya and your beautiful dog Conan. How did you go? Oh, reasonable, I think. <laughs> Did you find any of the questions even slightly easy? Definitely the first ones. They were the easiest. <laughs> the example one. Exactly. I think I need a Chardonnay about now. Right? <laughs> and you, you need a little bit of discipline. <laughs> now over here, I've got, I've got Kay. Now Kay, how did you find the IQ test? How do you think you went? I didn't think I did too bad. Yeah, and I noticed your cat there. Now you've got quite a few ribbons. What are these for? They're three best in shows at the Royal Melbourne Show for three years in a row. Fantastic. Three years in a row at the Royal Melbourne Show. Yep. And uh, so you, how did you think you went in the test? Oh, not bad. 
Not bad. I reckon the cat owners are going to do a lot better. Oh, and how do you think you went, Alex? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. And you're, you're a little cat here. He's a beautiful little cat. Have a look at that. How beautiful oh. is he? Oh, he's oh, gorgeous. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Aren't you gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the cat's name? Spotted Dick. <laughs> that one alone. The first and last time I'll ever have one of them in my mouth. <laughs> what did the cat owners for win? Lavinia? I think the dog owners. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, I think we'll leave things right there. <laughs> we'll cross back when all the results are in to find out whether the cat owners or the dog owners are the smartest. Right now, let's go to a break. With There's been a battle between the cats and the dogs. They've been fighting like cats and dogs. Russ, Lavinia? We have had yep. some really interesting results here tonight, haven't we, Russ? Yes, so after doing the test, I found out I'm not gay. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. Wrong test. No, we really did the IQ we test. We did the IQ test, of course. And, we did. Russell, your score, I'm proud to announce, 104. Well done. Nice 104. Work. Oh, God, here we go. And Lavinia's uh, score is 119. Nice. Nice. <laughs> now, let's find out our highest individual cat owner's score. Well, our highest individual cat owner was this guy here. Stand up. He's six foot three and a half. <laughs> the actual IQ scores? No, the actual IQ scores, the highest individual cat owners were Kim and Lorraine, both on 118. Well done, Kim and Lorraine. How do you think you went? Oh, I enjoyed it. It was really good. And I've got one of the most intelligent cat breeds too. Exactly. Oh, ditto, ditto. Ditto, ditto. And these, both these ladies want to become cat judges. So that's an interesting job. Pretty easy job. How easy is it? Oh, that's a cat. That's a cat. That's a dog. <laughs> Wow! And how did the dog owners go, well, Lavinia? Well, the highest individual dog owner was Peter with his lucky Irish setter. Now, Peter scored 126. Well done, Pete. But does this bode well overall? Let's find out. The cat owners overall averaged 110. I'm just looking at the producers. And the dogs, 112! Outstanding! So that means I lost the bet, uh -huh. and we had a bet if the dog owners beat the cat owners, or vice versa, we'd have to kiss this dog. Pack her up, pal. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. He doesn't want to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> just a little one. <laughs> 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 Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm a loser. <laughs> uh, yeah. The only problem with that, Katrina, is I'm not sure who was warming to the task of the dog or Russell the in the end. The dog trying to get right out of it. She worked from the RSPCA will be on the phone, no doubt about that. Now, that was out there at our live crossroads.